Hello, welcome back to the channel. Happy 2023. Hope everyone's having a good new year and uh, doing some amazing stuff. What are your resolutions? Leave them in the comments down below. But today we're talking about DaVinci Resolve and how to keep your drawings on the screen for as long as you want. Because we got a comment here from Micro Drone Flying on our how to draw on DaVinci Resolve videos. He says, how would I get the drawing to stay on the entire duration of the adjustment clip? We're going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so now we're in DaVinci Resolve here, and we have our clip, just some basic talking. This is actually of the last tutorial that we filmed about, I think it was the Affinity Designer. Um, so, we're going to go to the Fusion tab, just like we did in the original one, and go to our Draw. So, what we did last time is we drew on here, and if we use our arrow keys, hit the right arrow key, we go forward a frame, left arrow key goes back for one frame. You'll see that it's here for one frame, right? So we can sit here, and we can draw, right? and this line kind of moves along the frame. You're gonna notice over here we have stroke duration. Right now it's set to one, which makes sense. It's staying in there for one frame. So let's say we uh, change this to five. Now we go through and we draw a line. Maybe we'll draw it in a blue color here. That way it's different. Boom, blue, right? And we'll go every couple frames. And now if you go back, you'll see that they actually stay there for a couple frames compared to our fast line and now we have our slow line. So all you have to do to change the duration of your stroke is come over here and change your stroke duration. If you want it to last like a super long time, you could type like 30,000, right? And it'll be there for pretty much ever, right? That thing will not move at all because 30,000 frames is a long time. I don't know the math, but it's a lot. Or if you just want it only on there for five minutes, you know, where maybe 30 frames, you want it on there for one second if you're at 30 FPS, right? It'll go away. So all you have to do is change the stroke duration on the side panel right there, and you can change how long your stroke appears on the screen for. Hopefully that was helpful, and hopefully you uh, learned something new. If you did, consider hitting the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe, and I will continue to see you in 2023 because I want to make a ton more videos and actually, um, finally put start putting some more work into this channel again because man it has been a long time since i've been in front of the camera so good luck to all of your 2023 resolutions hopefully they all go well and hopefully i'll see you next time take care <laughs>